Hey there, Lever. Welcome to your mid April reading. So today we're talking about love. And, you know, the worlds could be reversed. Take whatever resonates, leave what doesn't. And all the information is in that little rectangle. And I just wanted to say thank you today, okay? I just wanted to say how grateful I am. Thank you so much for all your support. You're all incredible, beautiful human beings. Loving, supportive human beings. And that's exactly the type of community that I was manifesting not too long ago. <laughs> so just... Uh, just like looking now and seeing all of you beautiful people here is just, it fills my heart because nice job. You manifested well. <laughs> so yeah, thank you so much. Thank you to anyone who has been donating. I'm, I so, so appreciate that. I, I don't expect that from any of you, but you seem to amaze me. So thank you. <laughs> okay. So let's get into your reading. I was speaking up on like three different levels, um, not necessarily like a letter, but like levels, you know? And I, I really feel like it's talking about like how far you've grown, how much you've grown, how far you've went, and the beautiful person you are now and the things that you are creating now for yourself really align with who you are. And it, it just, I feel like, I really feel like you've grown. And with you, I really feel like your relationship's grown too. Um, this could be like the number of relationships that you've been through. Um, and I, I just feel like, you know, it's talking about three different levels. Maybe you went through your first relationships or first relationship were really immature and I don't know, they, they weren't serious or something, you know, they were really like down, down here. Then you possibly had another type of relationship that was a bit better, but it wasn't like tops. And now you have even another type of relationship, hopefully that's the relationship you're in now, that I feel like it's really, um, it, it's, it's wonderful, you know, it's really beautiful and it's, it's balanced, it's, it's mature, you know, I really feel like you're with another grown up adult human being, you know, and that, that's just beautiful. I feel like the middle one was sort of like average, you know, it's just, yeah, 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 you know, and now this, I really feel like it's, yeah. This is a good one, you know? But let's see where we go. We have, oh my god, yeah, home. We have keep an open mind and we also have meditation. So for some of you, you haven't met this person yet, but you're getting to that third level. For others of you, I do feel like you already uh, have met this person. You may already be with this person. And it just, this person is like home, you know? And I feel like you respect each other and you understand each other and you know exactly what to do and... I don't know, there's just a lot of openness, you know, and with this meditation, I really feel that it, it's it's more than love and it's more than feeling like home. It's like it's not it's a soulmate, yeah. <laughs> it's it, it's not that it's spiritual, but you feel like like this is bigger. This is bigger. And it's it's just really beautiful. Really beautiful. You may be a little bit scared. Uh, or this could be a person where, maybe not scared, but there's this thing of like, oh, when are things going to go sour? You know, you may be getting to that place where things are too good to be true. You know, we've been through the honeymoon stage. Where Where's the drama now? You know, and you're sort of expecting that a little bit. Keep an open mind. Maybe there's none of it. Or not in a way that you were used to. You know, maybe the drama, it's because of serious things and not just because, I don't know, something stupid. That could have been the case in the past where there was a lot of jealousy, there was a lot of control, there was a lot of like toxic things. And now this things, it may be drama because the sock was left on the floor. But that's, I feel like, healthy drama, <laughs> you know? And I feel like, I really have a good feeling of this about this relationship. Have make the effort, new love, and stay optimistic about your love life. Yeah. So that could be your reaction. We also have it as safe for you to love. That could be your reaction when you meet this person, when you met this person. Um, and you were really expecting to see, okay, where's where's the red flag? Come on, give me the red flag. Maybe there's none of it. Okay, maybe maybe there's not. And just stay optimistic. We just really believe in this connection. Just really believe that this could go very far. With this home right here, this could go very, very far. And with the make the effort, 
this is worth it. This is really, really worth it, okay? I, I do feel like this is going really far. Further than you thought it would. Okay? But let's see what the tarot has for you. Uh, yeah, let's use this one. Why not? Let's see. For my Libras, what do we have? All right. So, woo. Oh my god, four of wands over there. We have the two of pentacles over here too. And I just feel like, yeah, with the seven of uh, five of swords is that thing of you looking for the red flag. And um, with this four of wands, I do feel like this person feels like home. So focus on that feeling, okay? Focus on feeling loved and feeling respected. And I really feel like you're trying to... It's almost, it's almost like you're trying to stay optimistic but you also want to be realistic. And maybe sometimes that realistic actually turns out to be pessimistic. So maybe be optimistic. Stay optimistic about your love life, you know? And really hope for the best because I really feel like this could bring you the best, okay? Let's see, for you we have the page of wands. I really feel like this connection is uh, like light and um, I don't know, fun, you know? And I like, I like it. I really like it. There's a lot of passion between the two of you. Ooh, look at that. But, okay, for you, we have the page of wands. Your feelings, we have the high priestess. So there's that, like, intense, really soul connection. Um, that is, it's nothing, like, it's, it's bigger. It's bigger than just love. It's bigger than just love. It's bigger than anything. It's big. It's big. Just big. And um, for your person, we have the page of swords and the chariot. And in the energy, there's that passion with that Knight of Wands. It's not that you may feel like this person is only with you for the sex. It, it's just they, maybe they're a player. Maybe they're lying to me. Maybe they're being manipulative. Like, how do I know? How do I know? You know, because the potential outcome first, you know, because you should meditate and ask your guides and ask your intuition and your intuition will tell you, well, maybe I should stay optimistic about my love life. And also, because in the potential outcome, there's the Two of Cups. That's a lot of love. Okay? A lot, a lot of love. And this person, I do feel like they're a little bit... I feel like they're trying to read you, number one. Number two, I feel like they are like not trying to show too much at the same time. Um, they're, I kind of feel like there may be something that they are embarrassed. And it's like... I don't know, there's like a bad tattoo or something, something like that. Like there's something that they've probably done and uh, they're really embarrassed about talking about it. So they don't want to show too much. I don't know what that is about. Maybe it's literally a tattoo because that was coming up. Um, but I, I'm also picking up that that is something like, um, I don't know, something really childish that they did in a party with friends or something like a, a really bad story a really childish terrible funny story from their past and they may be a little bit embarrassed about that um so that like they don't want to share too much because like they don't want to freak you out but i don't think it's anything big because in their feelings we have the chariot and it's so interesting how your energies you're both showing up as pages and in your feelings, you have major arcanas. So there's a lot more emotion than what you're both showing. Okay? So you're giving this page of one's vibe of like, oh, this is so fun. This is really great. And, you know, it's just really light. It's like nothing big. And in your feelings, it's like it's deep. It's really intense. And for them, it's sort of the same. It's the page of swords. Well, I really like our conversations. Things are going well. And the feelings... We have the chariot, like a lot of emotion. You could be dealing with a cancer. We also have Pisces here. Uh, you don't have to though. But um, like they really want to move things forward and they really want to open their heart. And right now, the energy of the connection is all that passion because you're not showing the love. But if you show the love, the two of cups is a potential. Okay, so Libra. I like that. I really like that. So let's get a, uh, some more information around that page of swords. Yeah, um, there's something, yeah, 
um, so there is that thing of like something really stupid, something really embarrassing. But there's also that thing of like trying to figure out, trying to read you. Because I feel like in past relationships, they could have been uh, cheated or manipulated. They could have dealt with players as well. And so they are tr like trying to pass you through some sort of test or something um, to really figure out, okay, is Libra the big, the real deal? Like, are they your... The, uh, are they legit? Like, are things going well? And um, I feel like that's why they they may be a little bit. I don't feel like they're totally distant, but I feel like there is a little bit of like, don't get too close. You know, there's a little bit of fear, but they definitely want to manifest a new beginning with you, and they definitely want to manifest something different. You know, a new vibe, uh, especially with this Ace of Wands. They definitely want to. Um, just create a new story in terms of love, you know, a new cycle in love. So that's really great. And even if you have been connecting with this person for some time, there's this thing where uh, even if you, for example, are in a connection, there's this thing of like, um, I, I don't know, maybe the two previous levels came to this point, maybe even a date, like it came to... Two years relationship and everything went crumbling down and you're getting close to that two years and you're like, yep, things are going to crumble down now. Oh, well, where's the red flag? Where, where are things going to go wrong? And there's none of that. There's really none of that. So let's pull here some cards around that Knight of Wands. Justice, there you are. Knight of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. So we have Virgo over there. We also had Sag, by the way, forgot that. Um, but there's really this balance of like trying to be honest and trying to show your true selves while taking things really slow because you don't want to mess things up and you don't want to get hurt and you don't want any of your past um, vibes, you know, the type of relationships that you had. You want any of that in your life. So you're really trying to, you know, getting close to this person while maintaining the boundaries. And honestly, I feel like you're overthinking things a little bit. Um, not that you're doing it wrong. I'm not judging you for anything. But I really feel like you were overthinking and you're really focused on this pain instead of just really enjoying the connection that you have here. Because this is a really beautiful connection. And I'm, I'm talking to you because you're probably watching this video. But Cross Watcher, is this it for you? And you both need to pull your walls a little bit down. To get to this Two of Cups potential, okay? Well, let's get more information around that. Tell us about this Two of Cups. Seven of Wands, Seven of Swords, yeah, full. More Virgo energy. Um, so there's that thing of those walls being crumbled down. Okay, we have Seven Seven, highly spiritual number. Plus the two, um, uh, plus this high priestess. This is a really, really spiritual connection, okay? And against your own feelings, and that is creating a lot of self sabotage. You're just gonna take the leap of faith, and from that point forward, two of cups. It's just a lot of happenings in more freedom, okay? Because I feel like you're really controlling your feelings. This person is controlling their feelings. You're like this part here is inexistent. You're really trying to not see it. And that I feel like is creating a lot of inner conflict and is not allowing you both to enjoy the connection, okay? So maybe enjoy it. Let's pull some messages here from this person to you. What would this person would like to tell Libra at this moment? I think a lot of that is. Oh, look at that. You're my soulmate. Yes. Ooh, okay. We have Lust. Oh, look at that. I've always known you're the one for me. What else do we have for Libra? Maybe one day you'll forgive me. All right, we have your friends. And let's see. We also have, I'm sorry for the way I treated you. So they could have given me the impression of, oh, we'll just be friends, you know, nothing, nothing more than that. And I feel like that could have hurt you a little bit. The thing is, they didn't really mean it. You know, and I feel like, I feel like now they understand, oh, that was just fear. 
and I was a big idiot, and now what do I do, you know? And I really feel like they are trying to get back into your good graces. I just feel like they don't believe that you have feelings for them, you know? That's why they are being so self-protective. And I feel like that's why you're being so protective, you know, because you feel like they don't have feelings for you. I feel like this is just a friend's situation. And that's all they want. And that's actually not, okay? That's what you believe, but that is actually not, I feel. So let's pull some advice here for you. I really feel like you need to open up to one another. So what is the advice here for Libra? Come here. Uh, we have the snake with Kundalini rising. Channel your creative passion and sensuality. Welcome to the transformation. What else do we have for Libra? What is the advice? Oof. <laughs> I love this. So we have the tiger with the vine timing. Good things come to those who aid. And the butterfly emerging. Take the leap of faith. That fool. It's about taking the leap of faith. Okay, so I mean, maybe you have been waiting for a type of for this type of relationship for some time. Maybe you do need to take a leap of faith. Okay, cross watcher. Maybe you do need to take a leap of faith because I kind of feel like this like the messages are the same for both of you, you know. And just just do it. Okay, Libra, just do it. Just do it. So I hope this resonated. I hope it helped. If it did. Don't forget to smash the like button to subscribe if you haven't already. If you're interested in a private reading, the link is going to be down below for that. And I will see your pretty face in the next one, right? Bye-bye.